Baker Mayfield is going to fail in the NFL if he does not get his act together. Here's the reality. The reporter asked a question. It was a football-related question. Now, he doesn't play the game like Baker Mayfield, so clearly he doesn't know the game like Baker Mayfield. Fair enough. But Baker Mayfield, you know what he does know? He does know that in 20 starts, you have 26 interceptions. He does know that you've thrown an interception in every single game that you've played in this season and the three that ended last season. He does know that the team stands 2-5, and five, haven't met expectations, and that your frustration is real because everybody's frustrated watching y'all as much as you're frustrated perform with your performance. All of these things they know. Now, what Baker Mayfield has to pay attention to, and nobody's asking him to be anybody else but himself, all right? Because I personally like Baker Mayfield. I just don't like some of the things that I'm starting to really, really see from him. Deshaun Watson a few weeks ago was asked a question, and his initial response was, do you really know? to the reporter. And then he said, listen, I'm, I'm not being and disrespectful. And explained it to us. Amazing. And then went into an absolutely phenomenal, amazing explanation of exactly what the play was, what the options were, what you're looking for, what he saw, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The reporter had nothing to say. If you don't want to say that, fine. If you want to explain, fine. But then the storm off when there's a whole bunch of other reporters there. And, and, and just because one reporter got on your nerve about a football question, you are the face of the franchise, you're the quarterback, you're supposed to be a leader, and you've shown no leadership qualities whatsoever in this very, very frustrating season. How much better do you think it's going to get, particularly if you struggle? Now, if you're winning, you can get away with some of these things. You're losing. You're losing. You're not meeting up to expectation. Everybody knows that you've been a shell of what you were projected to be. At some point in time, you have to own it. Part of owning it is simply answering football questions because we are not to get a bit raw with this, but we all know that Baker Mayfield has given you things to ask him about that have nothing to do with football over the course of his young life. What if those questions were asked? The fact that a person is asking you a football question, Baker Mayfield should be able to have a smile on his face and go like this, hey, there are worse things I could be dealing in life with in life rather than answering football questions because there are other things he could be asked. He better get his act together. Otherwise, people are going to make it exponentially worse for him, and he thinks he can handle it. He doesn't know to have. I'm so glad you brought up Deshaun Watson. Everyone used that as, oh, the gotcha moment on social media. That's not how Deshaun Watson meant it to put the reporter on the spot. Reporter asked him a question. Deshaun Watson's football IQ is here, and the reporter's is not whatever it is. It ain't you Deshaun don't play Watson. Football. Right. So Deshaun Watson would like smiled, like, okay, he doesn't, this is a pretty simple answer for me, but maybe not. Do you really want me to explain it to you? And then went into a detailed explanation. It wasn't Deshaun Watson didn't mean, oh, I'm gonna get him on social media. Deshaun Watson was just explaining. And then we and then the, the 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 Twitter mob and everything did a gotcha moment to the reporter, and they were wrong. That was great. The reporter's there to get an answer like that. Baker Mayfield has made bad decisions and he's had bad execution. And I believe he's also been a victim of a coach, a guy who's not ready to be a head coach yet. And it ended. Offensive line that has some problems and you know, this kind of stuff. But the fact is, if you're Baker Mayfield and you're asked a question and you're like, boy, that's a dumb question. No, I was fine on that play, but Baker. Then he's not asking you about a half a dozen other plays that he could have asked you about where you know you weren't fine on that play because the tape don't lie. You're going to see in film. They're going to, you know, you're going to, you're going to see what you did wrong. So why are you using that opportunity to show up that reporter and then, as Stephen A. said, then leave everyone else high and dry? The idea that Baker says, and I'm a fan of his, maybe a little less now than I was, but when he says, hey, I'm not going to change now, that's great. He shouldn't. He should be himself. And this is who he's been. Great. But he should also understand that we're only interested in him because we thought, because he, he was a great college player, and we thought he might be a great pro. If he stops being good at football to the point where he's not going to be a starter in the NFL, or if he is one, not a good one, 
we will stop being interested in him. And then he can continue to be himself, but it won't mean anything. So th that's the long way of saying that, Stephen A., you're right about that. We, like, he can get away with that when he's winning. When he's not winning, he can't. That doesn't mean that he should change himself. It just means he should realize, you know, the party's going to be over because people, like, anyone heard about anyone interested in Johnny Manziel recently? Right? There's just not that much interest because he's not that good. That's what's at stake. I'm so sick of Baker Mayfield and the noise that comes with him. I mean, literally, it's disgusting. It really is. It's um, What Baker Mayfield doesn't understand is that there's a price to be had when you constantly ride this emotional roller coaster at the quarterback position. When you think of quarterback, listen, Tom Brady is fiery. How many times have we seen Tom Brady on the field before, you know, before the game running out, getting after people during the game, getting after people? But Tom Brady is always under control. He's measured, particularly when it comes to the media. He's measured. We've seen Philip Rivers, who's fiery guy, but he's measured. What Baker Mayfield needs to understand, especially in that, in that interview, yeah, you're dealing with a reporter that maybe doesn't know, but for you to dismiss the guy that saying you have never played, you know how many coaches have never played at this level, but I have the utmost respect for in the National Football League, just because you didn't play doesn't mean that you can't you can't contribute to the conversation or ask questions that deserve an, that deserves an answer. And so all this noise that every, everyone was talking about Baker Mayfield, his bravado, the rah-rah. Y'all -rah. loved all that. You loved all of yeah, that. I still all do. loved it, ate it all up. I still do. Okay. But th that was the one thing that I warned people about before the season with Baker Mayfield. Yeah, oh, it's great. It's like a drug when you're doing great. You, you hooked on it. Mm -hmm. Everything looks great. Mm -hmm. But when it hits the fan, mm -hmm. when you're sitting in a position, you're two and five, how is it now? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.